Hey, what's up everyone? How you doing? It's me, Mr. 4 k Upscaler. So, one of the most common questions that I've been asked lately throughout my Facebook Messenger and Twitter and other forums, it's regarding this LG OLED, latest LG OLED C10 series model, uh, especially this one, the 48 inch, which comes in price of $1,500. Um, and uh, the question that everyone is asking is uh, the burn-in issue, the burn-in, the burn-in, the burn-in, the retention, the burn-in. You know, I, I everybody tells me that, yeah, it's, it's a great TV, obviously, and it looks wonderful, looks beautiful. I, I like what I'm seeing here, um, but uh, it's this fear of burn-in. Guys... Um, this is not my first rodeo with OLED. I've been using OLED since 2016 with a B6 and then C6 and after that 2017 C7 and after C7 I took a little break and then moved on to E8 and had my E8 for almost a couple of years and now I have uh, you know C10 so I went through five different models of OLED generations from LG and neither one of them did I ever experience any problems and issues I'm not saying that you know that those issues don't exist I'm pretty sure uh, there's some unlucky people out there that they've got you know a lemon it happens you know but everyone I spoke to everyone I had conversation with regarding the OLED they all said that uh, they haven't experienced the problems the way people were claiming to be you know um, listen uh, there's nothing I can say here that's gonna you know make you change your mind if you have that fear of uh, potential burn in on the screen uh, there's nothing I can say here that's gonna change your mind um, but what I can tell you is that any television can break whether it's LCD whether it's plasma whether it's uh, a monitor a projector listen any panel can have malfunction even LCD can have a broken you know uh, liquid crystal display inside or one of the uh, LED lights in the back are broken and they're not working or or local dimming it's not working properly there's always something that can happen this is why you take a warranty you can always take a warranty as a peace of mind or you can take a precaution take a precaution and uh, you can utilize certain tips like here's something that I really want to say when it comes to the OLED guys and this is the most common thing first and foremost you need to understand is this this television if I st here's a good example if I let's say I go to the bathroom or I go talk to somebody on the phone for 10 minutes and uh, I'm not moving an image and it just stays like this after 10 minutes this television will shut down by itself to, to preserve the energy so there are certain precautions you can take to to have your television have more longevity you can also utilize the ecosystem of power usage how much of power usage would you like to use okay what I normally do is uh, when it comes to power usage uh, right here I go to the medium energy saving I just keep it at medium honestly this this is your best best option okay so longevity of a TV depends on how you take care of it guys and I have I have 
always taking care of my products. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's a television or if it's a console or if it's a anything. And listen, all of my products are in good shape because I take care of my stuff. You know, it's how you take care of your stuff. You know, I don't know how else to, to tell you this. It's really how you take care of your stuff. If you take care of your uh, products, they're going to last you longer. If you don't take care of them, they're not going to last you longer. You know. So same thing with this OLED. What I'm trying to say is this, guys. This ridiculous propaganda, this ridiculous um, claim that as soon as you buy this television, that all of a sudden, uh, after a few hours of usage of HDR, that all of a sudden you're going to have this potential burn in. Guys, I feel sorry for some of you who, who buy into that kind of crap. Okay? If you're going to trust anybody, and I don't mean to say this in some kind of selfish way, but you can trust me because I have spent tons of money on a bunch of different OLEDs in the past, all right, out of my own pocket. If that was the case, that all of a sudden you're going to have this potential burn in on your screen, do you really think I would uh, partner up with the LG? Do you really think I would waste my time? Owning OLED, watching stuff on OLED? No, I wouldn't. But that's not the case. It's not the case, guys. Please don't buy into that nonsense. Uh, it, it's really sad to see that that people can that people can be brainwashed and they can really buy into some propaganda crap uh, that it's not true. And uh, like I said, if there was issues, if OLED had that major problem, that some of these uh, individuals are claiming same individuals who don't even own the OLED and don't even have OLED or they're saying it for whatever reasons to fit their narrative or to, to fit their pockets for whatever reasons could, could be a clickbait all right to get some views and whatnot uh, people do all kinds of stuff to get the money to get the clicks to get the views all right it is what it is all I'm saying is this in my honest opinion, since 2016, I haven't had any issues and problems with the OLED. And if it was true, if it was true, if these claims were true, do you really think that the LG would have gone ahead with a 8 series, 9 series, and now a 10 series? Do you really think they would have moved on with the OLED and make all these different uh, processing uh, uh, chips like Alpha 8, Alpha 9? No, they, would have, they wouldn't have done that. They would have scrapped the OLED and they would have gone to something else. They would have used a different technology, whatever, uh, micro LEDs or what have you, okay? They would have taken a different approach. All right, they would have a big recall on the OLED televisions and they would get rid of this technology. So I hope that this is the last time I make this video where I have to kind of talk about this. Yes, can you get a burn in on, a, on an OLED? Yes, of course, you can get it. That's like saying, you know, can I crash while driving a car? Yeah, there, there's possibility you might crash, God forbid. Can I get stuck in the elevator while I'm riding the elevator? Yeah, if, if you, you never know. It could happen. But this idea that as soon as you step inside the elevator, you're going to get stuck. Or this idea, as soon as you step inside a car uh, and start driving, all of a sudden you're going to get in some kind of an accident. Um, that depends on you. That depends on how you take care of your TV, man. That depends on how you take care of yourself, how you take care of your car, how you take care of your products. It, it's the, it's I know it's a, it's a kind of a maybe half-assed analogy, but I don't know what, what other analogy to use to kind of bring, a, bring about my point here. So anyway, what you're looking at here, it's a Ghost of Tsushima, and as you can see, it just looks beautiful, man. This is just simply stunning. Uh, this game is beautiful. Uh, this, this has to be the, the, great, the best looking um, PlayStation 4 game. Yes, The Last of Us Part 2 it looks amazing, but the only reason I would say that this game is slightly better than The Last of Us, it's because this is an open world, okay? This is an open world game, 
uh, The Last of Us 2, it's a linear game, all right? And this is open world, so that's why I'm kind of giving Ghost of Tsushima a little bit more credit. All right, so anyway, there you have it, guys. I, I hope that this clarifies this whole... Um, this whole notion of uh, burn-in, burn-in uh, on your OLED, that you're going to get this immediate burn-in and immediate retention on your screen. Guys, technology has advanced. LG has advanced the OLED panels, okay? They thought about all that stuff, you know. So, there you go. You know, that's my opinion. I can only speak from my own opinion, from my own experience. And um, that's all I can tell you. All right, guys. Have a good one, though. I'll catch you later.